Right now, I'm about to restock all of my cups, literally all of them, because I wiped out. This is what I've got going on right now with my office. It is so chaotic in here. I've got all of my cup making stuff out. It is just craziness in here. I've never had it this bad before, and it's like really stressing me out. My trash can was just overfilled, so I took to the floor trying to get these cups done as soon as possible. So I just left the office like this yesterday because I was so exhausted. Um, so I'm just gonna clean up before I get started for today. I cannot work like this. It is really driving me crazy. But I think it's really important to show the reality of small business life. I do keep stock that I don't make. So like my socks, my clips, things like that. But for example, all my cups are handmade. All my scrunchies are handmade. This was all wiped out like I had nothing I made all of these yesterday I had no pre-cuts I had nothing made and so I had to make all the cuts for all these and make some pre-cuts for the future this is like the hardest I've ever worked and I love it I'm this is not me complaining I just think again it's important to show the reality that sometimes things get chaotic and it's okay normally I wouldn't leave it like this but I had to like step out take a break I'm coming back today in the morning and now I'm getting it done so we're gonna clean all this up, clean all that up, finish up a couple cups, and then we're gonna have a chat about all the chaos that's been happening around here. Okay guys, so I actually got a ton of work done, just like didn't even have time to film because I've been so extremely busy. I finished cleaning up everything. I made some orders and all my cups, put those away, reorganized my shelves. So we're gonna have a chat while I bag all my straws. I am restocking a bunch of straws because I almost sold out. I only have, I think two or three pink left and then a couple yellows, but everything else is completely sold out. There's a lot of things that we need to talk about. So much craziness has happened over the last couple days, over the last week, I guess you could say. And sorry if you guys can hear the printer in the background, but I have to multitask because I have so much work to do. It's literally insane. Well, if you guys don't follow me on TikTok, make sure to follow me on TikTok so you don't miss this craziness. But basically, I went viral. Um, this is like the first time I've ever really gone viral. Uh, I did have a story time video get a million views, but that was over the course of like a month or two. So it wasn't like overnight. This video blew up overnight. It was an ASMR video of me packing an order. It got a million views and it's currently at 4.1, I think, million views now, which is insane. And yeah, it, I, I basically got so many orders from that video. I think it was like... I don't know i was at 160 ish i think before I, the night before i posted that and after i posted that i'm at 193 right now so, yeah and then i had another video where my boyfriend packed an order and that one also has now hit i believe a million views and that was like two three days after i think i posted the the one that got 4.1 million views so my account has just gone crazy like I was at, I think, 50 to 60K. I'm now at 80K, something like that, uh, followers. And I don't really know how to handle it. Like, it's it's so surreal and exciting, but also really scary. I was so busy, I couldn't even film, like, me packing orders or anything. Um, I did get some footage. It's on, and I'll probably post that soon, but I have, like, some clips on Instagram of me, of all the packages that I got. I can finally kind of take a breather. Things have been slowing down a little bit now, which is good. And I can kind of catch up on everything that I need to do. I have, I don't know if you guys can hear the printer, sorry if you can, but I'm printing some thank you cards. Just I'm just kind of doing it as orders come because I have outsourced now. Um, I ordered some from Got Print, so once those come in, I will let you know how I like them. But yeah, I had to outsource because I ran out of thank you cards, I ran out of like care, care cards, like I ran out of everything. 
But anyways, I'm going to finish this up and then I've got to cut thank you cards. I've got to make more care instructions. And then I think I've got some other, I have a whole, a whole list of things to do. Like I'm literally like check marking because I need to make sure that this gets done. So anyways, yeah, I'm going to finish up here. Really quick, I also just wanted to show you guys my new stickers that I got. These are all from Sticker Mule, and I really wanted to upgrade my packaging um, to make my stickers more cohesive with my brand, and same thing for Puppy Lux. So I got these label rolls. These This size is 3x3, three three, so these are both 3x3, three three. and then these are 2x2. Two two. I think they're so cute and very on brand, and it's exactly what I wanted. So whenever I wrap my cups and put tissue paper, I will use one of these. Or like for sealing my boxes, I'll use one of these. So, so cute. And if you guys want to try these out, they do have samples. And they are 10 stickers for $9. But when I ordered samples for mine, they gave me 16. They always give me extra. For every sample that I order, they almost always give me extra. And for like poly mailers and things, like they always give extra. So there's also going to be a $10 credit in the description. Um, and I think that applies to orders over $30. So yeah, definitely make sure to check them out. Oh, and I totally almost forgot to show you the new poly mailers I got from Sticker Mule as well. This is the 14 and a half by 19 because I'm almost running out of those. So I switched it up a little bit and I love them so, so much. I think they're so cute. The $10 credit applies to anything in the store. So definitely make sure to check out Sticker Mule. They're literally the best for all like branding packaging and stuff like that. I love them so much. Right now I'm getting ready to pack some orders. These boxes are the worst to make. They're so annoying. Anyways, I've got seven orders to pack pack right now one of them is going to be a boyfriend packaging video that i i posted one of those types of videos and it got really good response everyone seemed to like it so we're going to do another one some people that have ordered pack have actually requested for him to pack the order so that's really cool i think but right now just got some mugs to pack and couple other things i've been making so many cups recently i also got these new stickers i think i already mentioned it try to see which one i want to use for this i think i'll do like a little these big ones for the mugs so that i don't have to put tape i can just put a cute little sticker and i think it looks so cute it's actually really like that i have something so exciting coming to the shop soon I am really, really stoked about this. Like, I've been wanting to do, do this for such a long time. And I finally am able to. I don't want to give too much away because if I if I give you guys some clues, I'm sure you will guess it. And I want to be a surprise. I also totally rearranged my shelving for my inventory. I do that like once a month. I just find like something to improve, which is good. It's good. But it's also like kind of <laughs> like an OCD thing, you know? I'm just constantly trying to make things better when they're already good, if that makes sense. But I feel like there's always room for improvement. I had an issue where my cups weren't sitting flat because my shelves obviously have all those little holes in it. So I had to lay down some cardboard. And right now I'm packing a milk carton water bottle. This is like the biggest change I've made with my packaging. I also, I don't know if you guys have seen, but I did change up my tissue paper to just do round logos. Before they were like rectangular and I didn't really love the look. So I wanna just stick to like round logos for now. So as you guys know, I got these new stickers and this is how I use them for packaging the milk carton water bottles. So I seal this with like a little flower sticker, put that in here, and then seal this up with a custom little, whoops, thank you sticker. So cute. And I just wanted it to be like more on um, brand and cohesive and I think that definitely looks way better than before.
now we're packing up some more mugs. These have been doing pretty good. This pink flower wasn't really like selling as well in the beginning, but now people are really starting to like it. it. Makes me happy because this was my favorite color, but I get it that the pink might be a little too extreme for some people, but some people are starting to like it. guys these have been selling so good i literally am almost sold out i have one left once i saw that they were picking up i ordered more and good thing because i literally have one left so it's good that i'm going to be able to restock them i've been contemplating on getting six by nine custom mailers but i never really use them um so i don't know if i should and i have these these are so cute they're from packagement maybe once these run out i'll probably get some custom ones but yeah, these are from Packagement if you guys are interested, and there will be a link in the description for that as well. You can get them on Amazon. I'm not sure if I've shown these on the channel yet because it's been a minute, but I came out with these 20 ounce glasses. I have a watermelon one and a strawberry one, and these have been doing so well, especially this one, the watermelon one, I think because of summer and stuff. So. I love these so much and I'm so glad I decided to do it. So I'm also going to be coming out with 16 ounce glasses, but shh, I haven't said anything about that yet. So you guys are the first to hear that. Really quick, I wanted to show you guys that I did end up outsourcing my thank you cards because this last rush made me realize that like I am not prepared if I go viral again. I definitely have to outsource now. There's no question about it. I ordered these from gotprint.com. This is what they look like. Um, I think I messed up when I uploaded them because there's like a white border. Um, so it seems like I aligned them wrong um, in the proofing process and I just didn't notice. But um, this is what they look like. I'm not 100% in love with them, but I think these are things that I did wrong. For example, I didn't get the glossy coating, which I don't know why I didn't. I probably just forgot to add it because I, I like mine glossy. So that's one thing. Um, the colors are pretty accurate, I will say. So that's, that's nice. Um, but yeah, I feel like, I don't know. I, there's also a couple different like papers to choose from, so... I think I'll choose a different paper next time. I feel like this would be easily damaged in transit because it's not glossy, so there's like no coating or anything compared to something like, you know, that has the coating. Maybe that's just me. Overall, they're okay, but I, I'm not in love with them. So I'm not too sure. I mean, I feel, again, like this could have been like a user error. Like I totally probably just ignored like the proofing and then I selected the wrong materials and things like that, but... Yeah, I don't know. I don't really love them. But anyways, um, I did end up outsourcing and I think I'll try a couple of different places before I decide which one I like the best. So I think next I'll try Vistaprint. Um, I've heard really good things about them. I just needed mine like ASAP. Got print had like a two day turnaround, something like that. So that's why I ordered from there. It is okay. I'd give it like a 7 out of 10 maybe. So we're going to try Vistaprint next and I'll let you know how that goes. But yeah. And I'm going to assemble all these, so putting the little sticker and the freebie sticker as well. You guys are not going to believe this, but as I'm editing this video, I hit 100,000 followers on TikTok, you guys. Another one of my videos blew up again, and now I have a ton of orders to pack, and I'm so grateful. This is insane. So make sure to subscribe and turn on your post notifications because you are not going to want to miss next week's video. I wasn't prepared the first time I went viral, so I really couldn't film a lot of behind the scenes, but this time I am prepared, and you guys are going to get to see all of it. And if you want to keep up with the growth and see other content, make sure to follow my TikTok and Instagram. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next week for a very exciting video. See you in the next one.